How's it going, everyone? I wanted to drain my fuel for my Honda 1332. Um, I actually did premium gas, which was like, I think it was 89 octane plus Startron. It's been in the gas tank for about a year now, so I want to drain it completely. Um, with these tanks, they're about almost two gallons. I think it's like 1.65 gallons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a funnel in there. This is the easiest way, I think, instead of siphoning. I don't want to pay siphoning. This is only like, I think, $1.99 or something, the funnel from Walmart. And uh, it's still a full tank. I found ethanol-free gas, so that's why I put in that five gallon. Um, I actually put Startron mixed with it. It's not going to hurt it. And um, I figured, why not go non-ethanol with the storms we've been having? Um, so what I'm going to do... Oh, by the way, I paid four, I think it was like 430 or 440 for, for non-ethanol gas, which is pretty cheap um, compared to like, you know, buying at the store for like, I think it was like uh, 30 bucks per gallon, which is insane. The pre-mixed or the, the mixed one. So all I did was I put a funnel in here and I'm just going to drain it back. I put a towel down here too. So with the Hondas, let me zoom in a little bit. With the Hondas, you have a sediment bowl here, a fuel shut off here. You can see it's off. There's on too, which I'm gonna do after. That's kind of like your ball ball valve shut off, like on a you know water. Um, it's just easy to do. Then you have this. You have this. This is the um, the drain bowl um, under the carburetor. So you just unscrew that. You can actually put a flat screwdriver if it gets stuck and use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it. Hopefully I don't need a flat screwdriver or anything. And all the gas is going to go back in here. And what I can do is afterwards I can put it in my car if I want to. Or uh, yeah, do anything. But it's a year old so I figure why not. What I'm going to do first, what I would suggest is keep it on off and make sure all the fuel goes into it. Um, I put it on a box just to have, you know, some height. With it, let me zoom a little bit down like this. I think that'd be better. And then I'm just gonna contain all, get all the gas in there. So it should, should be very simple. Let's see how it goes and we'll go from there. So all you do is unscrew this. You can see it's coming out. Unscrew it all the way. See that? And then I'm going to turn it to on and it should just pour out. Um, if it's not, if it goes all over the place, you can just shut it off. So let's, let's see how it goes. And we'll go from there. Not bad. I could basically just leave it there. Yeah, I don't feel any gas down here, so that's good. You could even put paper towels down, but we're going to drain it all. This is as simple as it gets, guys. I'd rather do this than run it for hours. And then uh, if you ran it for hours, um, you know, your hour meter would go like crazy. Uh, you put more hours on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this just to make it go faster and open it up. So you can open it up. And you can see how much gas there is in there. It's hard to see, but I'm gonna open it up, let it go all in there, and we'll go from there. I just don't want old gas, it's about a year old now, so I figured it's time. And you can see how it's draining, it kind of drains in two slots. Let's see if I can zoom out a little. Yeah, it drains right here, it doesn't really shoot out, and then you got this right here. So I think this is the perfect setup right here. Put it on a box. I think this is like a foot tall. And then put it on this and just let it drain. I don't feel any gas or anything. So that's good. I might do this to the single stage too. I got plenty of non-ethanol gas. 
And once it's all dried out, I'll put new gas in it, the ethanol free. This is easier than I thought. I would, uh, you know, advise doing this if it's like sputtering or, you know, starting to surge your uh, snowblower. And uh, yeah, just remove the gas, put new gas in, non-ethanol preferred. I had to drive an hour and 15 minutes just to get this stuff. So it's kind of a lot, a lot of miles to get it. You could tilt it back to get more too. If you wanted to, let's see. A little bit more, there we go. I just wanna drain all that gas out. doing almost done Let's see if we can get a little more out of her by tilting Pretty empty. So once you get there, I'm gonna try to tilt it a little more. See if we can get any. Huh? Nope. Okay. Nothing. Okay. All right. So that's it. So 
what do you want to do now? Nope. Take a towel and tighten it. You don't have to cross it or anything. There we go. Make sure there's no gas or anything coming out. Okay. I'm just gonna hand tighten it. And then we're gonna put new fuel in it. And hopefully it doesn't leak. For now we'll put the fuel shut off off. you're done with that take a wet rag a little bit and just wipe it around make sure there's no gas probably do worse on the paint and then on the dry side just you know wipe it down and there we go so now we have non-ethanol gasoline in there which is awesome so let's run it see how it runs we'll go from there. See how she runs. I gotta put it with you guys. This is my first start. Fuel on, choke out. Make sure you see if this is dripping or anything. Just in case I'll put the grab in me. I doubt it though. Make sure the fuel on. No drips. We're good. Now, what you want to do is choke out. Let's try it. <laughs> That's how you change from ethanol gas to non-ethanol gas. I even labeled it on this jug, non-ethanol gas. Um, it's been over a year, like I said. See, non-ethanol right here. And, uh, we should be good. I'll probably use that on my mower and stuff too, on my single stage. 
So, hope this was helpful. Uh, likes much appreciative. Just check like I did underneath to see if there's any uh, fuel coming out. You don't want fuel coming out of that. And, uh, yeah, now I'm not worried at all about having, you know, ethanol gas in here. So, that's cool. Or non-ethanol gas. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this was enjoyable. Take care and helpful. Uh, talk to you later.